So just quick summary of that last example. I found that my first five terms were 2, 7, 22, 67, 202. Now let's make this a little bit harder. If I give you the first five terms, can you come up with the recursive sequence? It's all about looking for patterns. So try this one on your own first. Resume the video when you're ready to check your solution. In this first part, in part A, I realize to get from one term to the next, I multiply by negative 3. So this means no matter what, I'm taking the previous term and multiplying by negative 3. You can also write this as negative 3 times a sub times a sub n minus 1. This means I need to be given the first term. I need to know that a1 is negative 3 and that this formula only works for the second term and above when n is greater than or equal to 2. Let's check the next one. I have 1, 3, 6, 10, 15. Looks like I'm adding 2, I'm adding 3, I'm adding 4, and I'm adding 5. If you ever see something that increases by 1 each time, instead of being a constant multiplication or addition, use your n. What this is telling me is that I'm taking the previous term a sub n minus 1, and I'm adding whatever the value of n is. So to get to my second term, I take the first term and add 2. To get to my third term, I take the second term and add 3, and so on and so forth. But again, this will only work for the second term and above, which means I have to tell you that your first term is 1. And that is a complete definition. Be really careful with recursive sequences. You have to give at least the first term, possibly the first two. And you have to tell me what term this starts working on. A good thing to note is that often the relationship between numbers is either arithmetic, which means addition, or geometric, which means multiplication. Like we saw above, when we have the multiplication, that becomes easy to deal with. You might also get something that relates to n, and it helps to see how each term relates to its input. So for example, in part b, it might have been easier to set up a table of inputs and outputs. We see 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 5, Yeah, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 5, 10, 4. Yeah, it helps when I don't skip numbers. There we go. 4, 10, and then 5, 15. This helps us see that get the second term, we add 2. To get to the third term, we added 3. To get to the fourth term, we added 4. To get to the fifth term, we added 5. We see that link between the term we're on and what we added.